My name is Delphine Elizabeth Bismarck, uh, born with that name, but um, my dad changed that name to Chi Chi when I was three years old. And I've been Chi Chi ever since. Mm. I've been a part of New Life Covenant Church. Oh, let me see now, from 1977. So that's a good 45 years as a member. It was originally called New Life Temple and then became New Life Covenant Church. From there, I became a Sunday school teacher. I met Bishop uh, Tudor then. Um, we used to have a lot of um, praise and worship. And here was this guy, he was dressed in his army uniform. He, had, he was playing the guitar, but his eyes were so red, I thought, oh wow. He must be having uh, another kind of move of the Holy Spirit, <laughs> of the Spirit, let me put it that way. <laughs> I, I said to, how can they get him to play guitar? Not knowing that he had an injury and part of the injury had affected his eyes. Um, we were in that wave that I just pray God would let our younger people experience. It was such a powerful wave, move of the Holy Spirit like you can never believe. A lot of young people came together. We used to have what was called um, carpenter shop. That was a phenomenal experience because um, it was in a basement, uh, um, the store in Arcadia that was owned by Mr. Lee at the time. And of course, our youth leader was Tudor Bismarck. He wasn't a pastor then. Uh, we used to have the electric chair. I don't know if they, anybody has spoken about the electric chair but they'd line up these chairs and then you sit there, you get a shock in the Holy Ghost and you be shaking and then you fall over. And, oh, what an experience. And everybody came for the electric chair. <laughs> Those kind of things built our youth and um, our youth was in all kinds of things. Um, one of the things that was so wonderful is that we do street ministry. So we'd put the speakers out on the street and we'd sing gospel songs and then we'd hand out tracts and so we just didn't do Arcadia and Hatfield and Sunningdale. Once the Sunday morning service was over, we had the 2 p.m. services that began. We, we had to eat very quickly and then take those same, that same bus, fill it up with people and go to the townships. Immediately after those services, we would have a time of fellow. Now, hardly anybody left to go home early. Prayer was the most amazing um, time at New Life Temple, at New Life Temple, it was just raw. People were coming from everywhere to this address, 258 Samora Misha Eastly, they were coming from every sector. Some people coming as early as 4 a.m. in the morning. That prayer experience, nobody, anywhere, has been able to match it. People were hungry for God from 1977 to 2022. Um, I think it's, it's seeing God as God wants to be seen. You know, God, he's God all by himself. And that's the whole focus of who we are. The other thing that I think we have left is the prayer legacy. I don't think anybody that comes here doesn't expect to pray. Faith, I mean, the, everything we do is by faith and um, a legacy of faithfulness, loyalty, uh, dependability, accountability, uh, integrity. We have left a legacy of worship. Um, this is one, one church that I know loves worship. Uh, we've also left a legacy of word. Mm -hmm.